I remember growing up wanting to be white. I didn't want to be Asian. But after all of this, I did realize at some point I didn't actually want to be white. I just wanted to be treated like I was white. I was born in Korea, adopted at three years old into a family in Philadelphia. Growing up predominantly in a white culture felt very isolating, especially as an Asian American because you aren't Asian enough for Asians to really accept you. And then you're not white enough, but you're the token Asian guy. I would often get made fun of a lot though, being called Ching Chang Chong and Chinaman and Bruce Lee. I saw a lot of movies growing up, Breakfast and Tiffany's, the typical one you see, The Karate Kid, which when I watched those people, the Asian guys, it didn't make me feel good about myself. When I was in grade school, I, I remember just wanting to take this girl out to a dance. And when she told me that she didn't find Asian guys attractive, I was like, oh my God, like, what's, what's wrong with being an Asian guy? Like, why aren't we seen attractive? And what's wrong with me? When I was in college, the first compliment I ever got from any girl was, you're really good looking for an Asian guy. The microaggressions made me realize this is really f up. Like, why, why am I accepting this backhanded compliment? Do they really see Asian men in general as weak, effeminate, not attractive? When I was online dating, I thought it was the worst being an Asian guy. And I thought maybe because I was also an Asian model, it would be a little bit better because I've heard of online dating being horrible for Asian guys, but it was horrible. I mean, I literally remember days of just swiping and then watching your white friends, like, kill it on online dating. You can literally just write no Asians on it anyway. It was almost like going to modeling castings. I didn't even get in the front door because they discriminated before they even saw me. And I got sick and tired of it. I felt awful about myself. Uh, there was a ton of self loathing and self hatred. That's when I felt like I didn't want to live I know I didn't want to live. I didn't think I had anything to live for. I couldn't see myself getting out of this depression and anxiety. It just finally went down after years of lots of food, drugs, alcohol, partying, rock and roll, and it just collapsed and I lost my health in 2013. And that was the turning point where I realized I had to do something about this. I started saying, you know what? online dating. Instead of just swiping and being depressed, I was like, I'm getting off of this shit. And I'm gonna do it the old school way. Well, I had to let that old story, that old chatterbox in my head saying, well, you're not, you're not there because you're Asian. They might not like Asian guys. And I just didn't give a fuck anymore. Dating in real life is better than dating online is because it is just super superficial. You can actually bring yourself to the person in real life and show them that you're a person, but you just so happen to be Asian. I want every person to embrace their own identity as male, female, transgender, Asian, black, white, whatever it is, because when I started to really embrace that and didn't want to become another race, that's when I started to really love myself and other people saw me differently. Because if you can't even love your own race and your identity, what makes you think other people want to be a part of that if you can't even accept it and love it and celebrate it?